Hey guys, welcome back. This is Cam. Today I'm going to show you how you can use fermented rice water to feed your orchids. Fermented rice water contains many benefits for your orchids. One of the benefits is the microorganism that is within the solutions. Once fermented, microorganisms start to multiply within the solutions. This microorganism can actually form a bond with your orchid's root to help it uptake the nutrients that it requires. The other benefit is fermented rice water can also use as a pest repellent. Now, if you have a lot of pests in your orchids collections, maybe you want to think about use this as a foliar spray to repel pests. Fermented rice water contain large quantity of macronutrients that your orchid needs, like the NPK ratio. It also contains traces of mineral like zinc, manganese, and other um, nutrients that is required for your orchids. Now, I can list a whole list of nutrients or mineral for you, or you can Google it. Before I go on to uh, the fertilizing part, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'd be very appreciated. Also, don't forget to hit the bell notifications. When I upload a video, you don't want to miss it. You can you apply this in multiple uh, ways. One way is to foliar spray. The other way is to soak the root system. The third way it is, which is the way I use, is put in a sprayer like this and hose down the root system and the entire plant itself. If you only have a few plants, it's okay to just use it and soak your roots. But I have over 100 plants and I have another 100 plants coming in. So I don't have the time to soak individual plants roots. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just apply this with a uh, garden hose uh, sprayer and it's bas basically apply the same thing, okay? Now, you want to use this in the ratio of 100 to one. For every 100 part of water, you'll mix one part of this fermented rice water. Now, if you look at this fermented rice water, uh, it's a little white and cloudy, creamy color. That is because I added LAB into this solutions. If you don't have LAB, your water should be a lot more clear than this. Okay. Now, when every time you wash your rice, you want to collect those rice water. Okay. And you want to put it in a dark, warm place for the microorganism to start to grow. You want to put in a breathable lead, which is can be a symbol as a paper tower. Or if you have an old uh, cloth or some kind of rack, you can use it to cover it. I use paper tower because it's a, you know easy and uh, available to me. And so I set my sprayer to one ounce per gallon. There is 128 ounces per gallon. Therefore, one ounce per gallon is sufficient enough to feed my orchids with. Okay, you don't want to use any more uh, than 100 to 1 ratio. Okay, you can dilute a little bit more, but you don't want to add too much fermented rice water. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this into this sprayer here, and I'm going to hook this up to my uh, garden hose, and I will hose down my entire orchid collections. Okay, so uh, let, me guys, let me walk you guys through. All right, so I have hooked up a garden hose to this sprayer here, and I set it to one ounce per gallon. Let me show you guys. One ounce per gallon. Okay, and that's what you want. And basically, I'm just gonna water down my orchid like this.
All right, guys, I will bore you with the rest of the watering. This is how you're just going to apply it, okay? And uh, while you spray it, you can also spray the leaves. And uh, that's an uh, other way that you can also feed your orchid, which is foliar feeding. When you do foliar feeding, you can, uh, it will create a coating that uh, actually can repel pests, okay? So uh, thank you guys for coming in today. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Give a like, give a thumbs up, and also uh, hit the bell notifications. All right, guys. Thank you. See you next time.